This lesson will export tags that can be input from SCADA. We also create a sample report and save it as Excel 972003 format. Copy the sample report file to the report folder as in the previous lesson. On SCADA, create IO fields to input report information. Add internal tags with data type as strings. At this point, I couldn't drag and drop successfully because the IO field format differs from the tag format. You need to configure tags in string format. I set the string length to 50 characters. Then drag and drop tags and IO fields. Other tags are also make it similarly. I still use the VB script from the previous lesson. In the tag section, add the tags just created in the previous step. Now, I don't know the ID of the current column and row, so I set it as X and Y. I also name the tags as tag X. Then copy it into six tags. Back to the sample Excel report file to determine the row and column positions. The customer's name is at row 8 and column 2. The address is at row 9, column 2. Other positions are handled similarly. Car number is at row 12, column 5. Then we copy this position into the VB script code for each information. To ensure the tag name is correct, I will copy the tag ID into the sample Excel report file.
Then copy the tag into VB script. At this point, we have tags corresponding to rows and columns in Excel. Make sure the path to the sample report file is correct. Run the runtime and check the results. I will enter some information into the I.O. fields. The report appears with the information entered on the HMI. I will rename the information and try again. Customer information has changed according to the settings. The lesson ends here, see you in the next lesson.